Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the season finale of the Mr. Camilleri Show. Yes, you heard that correctly. It is the season finale. It is the final season of episode one. It's the final episode of season one. That is what I meant to say. All I can say is, time flies when you're having fun. This episode is brought to you by writing equations that represent graphs and tables. DJ, for the final time this season, please drop a beat for the learning target of the day. The learning target of the day for Thursday, April 7th is I can write equations that represent graphs and tables. Success criteria. Watch the season finale of the Mr. Camilleri Show. Solve the guided problems by copying the steps from episode 10. Pause the video as needed. That's very important. Correctly write at least five equations that represent graphs and tables. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So this is a little bit of a review for you, but when we graph lines, the x-axis um, represents the numbers going across horizontally, and the y-axis represents the numbers that are going up and down. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the first of the graphing examples. I'm gonna demonstrate how to Write an equation representing the value of x and, an and write an equation representing the value of y. Correction. I'm only demonstrating equations that represent the value of y, not the value of x. For this graph, we don't have to worry about equations for the value of x yet. So I'm going to start off by plotting the coordinates for point A and point B. So looking at point A, I'm going to see where point A is on the x-axis. I'm going to count the numbers going along the x-axis and see um, where they line up with point A. So starting at 0, 0, 1, 2. Okay, so point A lines up with 2 on the x-axis. So I'm going to um, put in a 2 there. When we're plotting the coordinates on a graph, x is the first number and y is always the second number when we, whenever we um, plot the coordinates on a graph. So for point A, we have the value of x is 2. I gotta see where the where y lines up with point A. So I'm gonna start at 0, now I'm gonna count up along the y-axis. So 1, like point A lines up with 1 on the y-axis. Looking at point B over here, I want to see where it lines up. So let me count along the x-axis now. 1, 2, 3, 4. So point B lines up with 4 on the x-axis. Looking at the y-axis now, 0, 1, 2. So point B lines up with 2 for the y-axis. So we have our coordinates for points A and B. So now I'm going to write an equation representing the value of y for this graph. So in order to write an equation representing the value of y, I have to look for what does x equal when y equals 1? That's what I have to, that's what I have to find out. So looking at this graph, the line that's plotted, when y equals 1, 
x is equal to 2. So I'm going to write y equals 2x. The reason I started out by plotting the coordinates is because it just makes it easier to, to navigate the graph and see the relationship between y and x. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now I am going to write an equation for the value of y that represents graph number two. I'm going to start out by um, plotting the coordinates for each of the points. So if we look at point A, we're not actually, um, if we look at point A and we look at the x-axis, we never leave zero. So for point A, and along the x-axis, the number is going to be zero. Now looking at the y-axis, one, two, three. So the number along the y-axis is three. There's, those are the coordinates for uh, point A. Zero and three. All right, now I'm going to plot the coordinates for point B. So looking at point B, looking at the x-axis, zero, one. So Point B is located um, on the number 1 going across for the x-axis. Now looking at the y-axis. Count them up. 1, 2, 3... Four. So point B is on 4 for the y-axis. So we have 1 and 4. Now moving on to point C. 0, 1, 2. So for point C... The value of x is 2, and then for point C, the value of y, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, now we have um, all the coordinates for this graph write an equation representing the value of y. Now if you notice on this graph on this graph of the line plot we get all the way up to 3 on the y-axis before the line plot ever leaves the x-axis. If you look at point A, the x-axis remains at zero as the y as the y-axis um, conti um, continues going up. One, two, three. So for point A, there's a three on the y-axis and x-axis remains at zero. Whenever we have a situation where um, the x at um, the coordinate is zero for the x-axis, um, there's going to be a number with no variable in it um, in the equation. So right now we're going to have y equals 3 because the line went up to um, went up three points before um, before x moved off the graph. Now looking at the slope of the line,
for the remaining points, when we go to point from point A to point B, Y increases by 1, X increases by 1. So X goes from 0 to 1, Y goes from 3 to 4. Then we go to point C, Y increases by 1 again, and X increases by 1. So Y goes from 4 to 5, and then X goes from 1 to 2. So the equation we have here for this graph, for graph number 2, is y equals 3 plus x. Because both y and x and y are increasing by a slope of 1. And we have the 3 here because y actually started at 3 before it um, moved off of off of zero on the x-axis. So y equals 3 plus x is our um, equation for graph number 2. Gentlemen, now I will demonstrate how to write an equation representing the value of y for this table with the given coordinates in this table. Now the method, the way we can uh, we can write an equation representing the value of y. We have to figure out what x would equal when y equals 1. Now we figure out what x equals when y equals 1 by dividing. We can select any of these pairs to divide. We can do 10x divided by 5y. We can do 8x divided by 4y. We can do 6x divided by 3y. We can do 4x divided by 2y. Any of these pairs, we select any of these pairs to divide by, we'll um, be able to find what the value of y is. The easiest thing to do, though, is pick the smallest numbers. The smallest pair where x and y are not equal to zero would be the, easy, the easiest way to, to solve the problem. So we have when x equals zero, y equals zero. When x equals four, y equals two. So four x equals two y. So 4x equals 2y. So now I'm going to do 4x divided by 2. I'm going to do 2y divided by 2. And we're not able to add or subtract unlike terms. Like we would not be able to add x plus y or y plus x. But we can multiply and divide when it comes to unlike terms. So 4x divided by 2, 4 divided by 2 equals 2. So 4x divided by 2 equals 2x. 2y divided by 2 equals 1y. We don't need to put the 1 in front of it. We can just put y. And we, uh, we have our answer. 2x equals y. y equals 2x. Final example of the episode, writing an equation for the value of y for this table right here. Now if you look at the pairs, if you notice, something unique about this table that's different from the last table is x and y 
are not both starting off at zero. In this table, when y equals 3, x equals 0. So because of that, the number 3 is going to be in the equation by itself, without any variable attached to it. Now looking at the rest of the table and seeing the pattern, so y increased from 3 to 4, x increased from 0 to 1. So y increased by 1, x increased by 1. Now looking at the next um, pair, y goes from 4 to 5, x goes from 1 to 2. So again, the value of y increased by 1, the value of x increased by 1. Next pair, y goes from five, um, 5 to 6, the value of y increases by 1. x goes from 2 to 3, the value of x increases by 1. And then looking at the last um, row, x goes from 6 to 7, the value of y increases, I mean y goes from 6 to 7, the value of y increases by 1. x goes from 3 to 4, the value of x increases by 1. <clears throat> So the pattern in this table is that um, when x increases by 1, y increases by 1. So the final equation is going to be y equals 3 plus x. So we have the number 3 by itself in this equation because in the table, y starts off at 3 and x starts off at 0. So we're always going to have a number that's not a letter in that situation. Whenever y as a single digit number and x um, starts at zero, whenever we have a pair like that, there's always going to be a number that's not a letter in the equa within the equation. And then after that, both x and y consistently increased by one. So um, that is our final answer. That is our final equation. And that's the show for today. All right, ladies and gentlemen, huge thank you for tuning in. It has been a pleasure broadcasting the Mr. Camilleri show for you this past month. It was a great first season, and I guarantee y'all season two will be even better. Um, I'm not sure of the start start date for um, the first episode of season two, but it's on the horizon. And I hope y'all all, all of you will join me for another season. Have a great rest of April vacation.